Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're going to be working on the High Hopes Dolmens for kids. I love this because we already have the adult version of this pattern and I just love it when we have the matching kids version so I'm super excited about this. This is such a quick, fun and easy pattern. I think you're gonna love it. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, this is going to be such a quick sew and you're gonna be like, what? Mm-hmm, just wait, you'll let me know below what you think. All right, first we're gonna grab our bodice, um, we're gonna grab our front and our backs and we're going to match them right sides together at that shoulder seam. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and match that shoulder seam and you can actually match your side seam at the same time. Because the way that this top is styled, um, the sleeve, it's a dolman style sleeve and you don't have sleeves, you just have cuffs at the end. Um, so you don't have to do the shoulders first and then cuff, I mean sleeve and then cuff. Um, you can actually do your shoulders and your side seams at the same time and save time. Now if you want to, you can do your shoulders first and then come back and do your sides. It is up to you. Now this one is a 3T size, so I can fit it right here on my board so you can see how cute it is. Um, but if you have a bigger size, like even when I saw the adult size, sometimes I have to lay it on the uh, on a mat or on the ground or on a table to try to get it all in one piece because it's bigger. Um, but I love that this is so quick right here. All right, so now you can go ahead and sew those raw edges together, shoulders and side seams. And then you're gonna come back and we're gonna put our other pieces together. But you all know, I like to go ahead and put everything together at once, like kind of like an assembly line. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you which things I'm gonna put together next. That way, if you wanna sew them now and have them ready, so when that's done, you can just attach them and be done. We can do that. I am working with the cowl today. So I'm grabbing my cowl piece and I've got two of them and I'm putting them face up on my mat. As you can see, here's the shape out and we're going to go ahead and grab the other one and we're gonna put it right on top. And we're going to sew up those raw edges where like the kind of triangle like pieces right here come out. All right, so we're gonna sew down and then turn and go down the other way to create that cowl. And we are not done. If you're doing um, your neckband, you would go ahead and fold your neckband wrong sides together, give it a memory crease, and then fold it right sides together and sew the short raw edge. Um, if you need, if you have questions about how to do a neckband, we do have a neckband video, um, and so you can go check that out on our channel. Now I'm also gonna prep my cuffs by grabbing them right sides together at that short raw edge and matching them up and then sewing them close to make like, you know, a band. And I'm also prepping my waistbands by grabbing those pieces, putting them right sides together and sewing the raw edges. Kind of trying to match the colors a little bit. I am super excited about this fabric. This is a double brush poly on like an ice dye fabric. Um, and then I think it's super cute. It's for my knees. I think she's gonna love it. So we're gonna go ahead and sew all these pieces to get them all prepped and ready. And then we're just gonna attach them and be done. Super quick. All right, all my pieces are prepped and ready to go. This is one thing I like about being able to do this is that they're once they're prepped, it's super easy to put this top together. It's like a puzzle we're building. All right, so we can start with whatever you wanna start with. You can do cuffs first, you can do waistband band first, you can do neckband first, it really doesn't matter. And you can also do all of them at the same time, which is what I like to do. Um, so we're gonna prep those by grabbing, here's our arm, here's our, where our sleeve ends up. We're gonna grab that cuff, we're gonna turn it wrong sides together. And here's my little cuff. Trying to figure out where I want this cuff color wise. 
got this color and then they're both the same pretty much the same color I'm gonna do the same to both and then I'm gonna grab here where my seam is and I'm gonna clip that and then I'm gonna find my half Make sure they're touching my sides together at those raw edges I'm going from one side to from that seam to the front or side I guess and I like to do like a little notch to mark my half I'm gonna do that for both now I'm going to grab here where my sleeve is and I'm going to grab my cuff and fit it right inside and the right side of my cuff is gonna touch the right side of my sleeve and I'm gonna match it up with those those halves I'm gonna match right here where those seams were and then we're gonna go and sew that on together at the uh, serger or sewing machine with a stretch stitch. And I'm doing that for both. Now you can go ahead and go sew that. Or like me, I like to do everything at the same time. So I'm going to leave that, put it aside to sew. And I'm gonna go ahead and prep my band. And what to do with my band, I'm gonna grab those two seams, put them together and go to the front and to the back and mark it. And then I'm gonna grab my actual band that I created. I'm gonna fold it wrong sides together. I'm gonna put clips here on the seams to keep it together. And then I'm going to match up the front and the back and go to the sides to find my sides. And now I'm going to fit that band into my top and match those points right sides together so match those seams side seams and then the quarter points once again you can go ahead and sew that up if you want once you're done doing that but I'm gonna go one more step and do my cowl all right, y'all say, this fabric looks like summery fabric and you're doing a cowl with this? Honestly, if I look at this fabric, I'm thinking winter. This is like an eyes dye fabric. I think it'll be perfect for winter time. I am doing the same thing, finding my quarters with my neck. And you will do this if you have if you have a neck band as well. I'm matching those shoulder seams and going to the back. What do y'all think? Let me know below. What do you think about this fabric for winter? And then I'm gonna go to the front I know that it's like colorful and pretty, but why can't you wear, wear colorful and pretty at winter time? Especially if you're a little, a little one that loves colors. And I'm gonna match my front and my back and go to the sides. But honestly, I am not even kidding around. I think that this fabric is perfect for winter because it's got that beautiful, like, crystally look. Um, that's like a winter look to me, like cold. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna grab my cowl, so here it is, and I'm going to fold it wrong sides together. Look at that, how cute that is. And I'm gonna match those seams. Literally, if you're doing a neckband, a neckband is the same thing, except for obviously it's gonna be a short little thin piece. This is a thick piece um, because it's got the longer cowl, but it is still, you're still gonna match those raw edges together right here and so I'm gonna match my side seams and find my quarters tell me below comment and let me know below do you do everything at the same time like if you're making this top will you do it just exactly how I did it doing every step kind of prepping and getting it and going to sew it or do you prep each step like those shoulders and go sew and then your sides and then go sew and then your cuff and then go sew. how do you do it all right, then I'm gonna grab my cowl and I'm going to, here's my top, I'm gonna fit my cowl right inside my top. I wanna look, this is the part that you're basically going to see, so I wanna see what that looks like. That's pretty, I want this pretty coloring to be in the front, so I'm gonna fit it right in there. And I'm going to match those quarter points together. So yes, I wanna know, tell me, do you do it all at once or do you say, no, I like to take my time and, and do it separately? There's no right or wrong answer. Everybody sews differently and I that's what I love. I love being able to 
just do my sewing my own way and um, for it to turn out how I want it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna sew all those um, bands because they're all bands and we'll be done. That was so quick and so easy. As we start to sew all these bands, um, if you have a difficulty getting your bands to lay just right or sew just right, we do have a playlist, a video of how to get your bands just right and we go into more detail on how to sew them on. So make sure to check that out. All right, my friends, now we turn it all right side out. Um, you can go ahead and give it a good, whoop, a good steam. Grab that cowl and flip it out so that it lays like it's supposed to. Look at how cute that is. Adorable. I'm gonna have to make my eye adult size for me so I can match my knees because it's so cute. Um, if you do have a little bit of waving right here, Sometimes that happens with knits fabric. All you have to do is go give it a really good steam and that makes the fabric come back together and it lays nice and flat. So I love it. What do you think? Let me know in your comments below what you think. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Go grab this pattern. Make one for yourself. Make one for your little or your friend's little or your niece or whoever you sew for. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you subscribe if you haven't so you never miss on any of our tutorials. I hope you come find us on Facebook and Instagram where we have a great community of sewists who are showing their um, makes and you can be inspired and then we want you to show your makes so you can inspire us with your makes as well. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.